Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I'm so happy you're here. Do you have these six by six paper pads? I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. They had some different ones there, but I really liked this one and one I've already gone through. We're gonna we're going to create some projects using our six by six uh, paper pads just to get rid of them really, use them up. And that's what I've been trying to do, <clears throat> excuse me. If you have 12 by 12 paper, you can cut it down to six by six if you don't have any. It doesn't matter what the pictures are. If you love, if you love the paper, then grab it, let's use it. We're gonna make some pockets, um, just, just some different, uh, different things. And hopefully we'll see how much we can get through. This one has sort of like a sewing theme to it, but the papers are so pretty. All right, so let's let's just do it. I'm just gonna grab a couple pieces and then uh, we'll get started. And then there's, there's two sheets, I think, of every um, picture. That's one, two, yeah, two. So in this one, I just made triple pockets, one, two, and then when you attach this to a page, you can glue it on the three sides and have it as a top loading. I put the notches in already. This one is a triple pocket. So I have a pocket here, a pocket at the back, and then there's a pocket at the top. So I did a bunch of them. And then this one I just, I sort of decorated already, but you know, just as an extra piece of paper. And I think there's a tag in here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe, oh yeah, there it is. Couldn't tell where it was. So I just made a tag. It was so pretty, I didn't want to cover it up. But uh, I just added some construction paper on the back and you can put a uh, tab at the top you could put lace or fibers you can do one on the side you can add a tuck spot anything else that you want i just thought it was really pretty so let's let's just play all right i hope you're all doing well uh we'll do the um let's see i just want to show you some different variations so let's let's do this one first and it's so easy just fold it over. And I'm thinking these are not a true six by six because boy, does that ever look crooked. So I just fold it up. Uh, how much did I fold it? Maybe four inches. It doesn't have to be precise. It's just, just enough to have a pocket. Then all I did, slide this in here See, that does not look straight, does it? Not weird. It's just weird. Anyway. And then I'm going to fold this over. Just like that. And you can make a bunch of these up and then decorate them later if you want. So I'm going to use my clear tacky glue because like I said uh, the other day, I'm trying to get rid of it so that I can put my Fabri-Tac into the container. If I can, I didn't even check to see if the lid comes off. So there we are. So then we have a pocket right there. So when I turn it over, open it up. <clears throat> oh, goodness, Brenda. I'm going to add glue all along the bottom. Yep, because this is the bottom. And I'm not going to add glue to the top because I want that to be the pocket so and see it's not straight so I will trim it as I go and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue 
to this top portion on the small side so that that can become a pocket as well. And we still have our pocket there. So. Just need to trim. Boy, oh boy, that's just terrible. But I'll probably end up having to glue it again. Like I say, it's not a true six by six. So, yeah, you know, just have to add a little bit of glue there. So there we go. So then we have three pockets. <laughs> so we have one, two, and then one on the top. Nice big pockets to be filled. So there's one. So then let's do our little triple pocket. And then we'll do a couple different ones. Just grab whatever paper. Um, I think I'll use this pink one again, it's pretty. And then you'll use a cutter. probably didn't need the three sheets so I'm going to cut it down to three and I'm going to use the other side because you won't see that flower anyway three so now I'll use this one this one you can cut down to a four so it can be a double pocket if you wanted or you can add this one. So it would be six, four, and two. Yes, all right. So you can get one sheet and create three pockets. And then I just put them together and grab my circle punch here. I'm hoping I don't have an avalanche today. I shouldn't, but you never know. make three holes just like that and then they're all in the same spot you can ink you don't have to ink let's just see if there's anything on my on my brush I'll just do the thumb notches but as you know I love sending happy mail to people and I like to have uh, new things to send different things to send that I can put ephemera in and they're, they're flat. They can be added to your journals. But they're very straightforward and so much fun to make. You see, they're still not straight. Isn't that something? But when I was cutting it on the cutting board, I noticed that... It wasn't a true six. So there's that. So then I end up just trimming and then we'll add the smaller pocket there. Great stacked pockets. You can use a, U a ruler to cut. You know, you don't need to have a cutter. You can cut freehand if you're if you're able to cut a straight line, something I cannot do. But some people can. And so there's a triple pocket, like just so easy. So there's one pocket, two pocket, and when you glue it down, you'll have your third pocket at the top. So there's that. So that was the two that I had done there. Plus you can just do two pockets. You can do a one pocket, it doesn't matter. You, you know, you can 
make the decision on uh, what size. So let's do a coin envelope. So I just, I'm gonna line it up at the bottom because I know it's not a true straight line. So I'm just gonna do that. Could do them in the middle, but I didn't do that. I'm gonna bring this one just over just a little bit. I wanna have enough real estate inside to be able to put a nice sized tag in there, right? So I'm going to fold up the bottom just, oh, I don't know, quarter of an inch maybe. I just use my finger, run it along, and then I use my nail. You can use a bone folder, your scissors. So then there's just a little fold, there's three folds. So the top I'm gonna to do just a little bigger, just so that I know it's the top. Just like that, okay? All right, so this is the center. So I'm just going to notch this at the corner, that first little square. Maybe I should have marked it. So this one's gonna go, this one, and this one. Okay, and we'll, we'll cut them off at a slight angle, and that way there'll be no bulk. So I just do it at an angle, and do that at an angle. So there you go. So it's just a slight in and a slight out that way. And then I'll do the same to the top. Angle. And then just bring it up from that line a little bit. And that just takes the bulk away. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. So then when you fold this over, you could do it this way, you could do it this way. Then you don't have that bulk interfering. And then I'll just add some glue to the outside of the short one, because I'm gonna put it on the outside, and then here on the inside one, and that just ensures that it's closed. I know normally they're made where the seam is in the middle, but like I said, I wanted to have extra room in the pocket, and now I have it. So we'll do one the traditional way if you want. I can show you that as well. And then I'm just gonna add glue to the bottom flap and then that will close it in. And there we go. So there's your coin envelope. Oh, yeah, this glue needs a second. And so there you go. Great for a pocket in a journal. If you don't like it being, you know, with that little lip there, you can cut it more. I don't mind it. It's just, it's going to be sitting in a pocket in my journal. So, and so there you go. So I'll show you one the normal way. Like, well, not normal, but, you know, just, I'm just bringing them in. Just a little tiny bit of an overlap, just enough to glue. There, see, so it's just, just like that. So there's like maybe just a quarter of an inch or whatever overhang. And then the same way with the bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me.
but these papers are great for journal covers. If you wanted to use them as a mini journal cover, that would be great. I have a fruit fly flying around. Ugh. All right, so the same thing, we're going to notch out the bottoms and then the tops. There's the bottom. There we go. I have a little extra cut there. So then you decide which, which side you want to be in, which side you want to be out. So I'm just going to add glue to the outer edge of the folded down piece and then the inside of the longer bit and pop those together. There we go. And there we go. So that's with the seam down there. And are they the same size? Oh, look at that. They're pretty much the same size anyway. Just a little bit of difference right there. Yeah. Just a smidge of a difference, if you can see. So... All right. one of our corner pockets. I'm just looking for lots of pocket ideas and just making a whole bunch of different pieces so that I can get my journal filled. I'm trimming it because it's crooked. So then this side... Okay, what was I thinking? I could go down like this, but I don't want to have the white. Um, what's nice about having bits of white is it can be stenciled on. I'm going to just do this. I'm not sure if this will work because it is with the white, but I'm going to try it anyway. Could paint the opposite side of the paper even before you start. That would be fun. But I don't have my paints handy, so and that's a whole messy thing anyway, isn't it? But then we have one of these. Oh, let me just. And I just add glue to the tip. This one's going to have to be held a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to come in and I'm going to ink it up while I'm holding it. Can add some stickers on there, but it gives it a whole other look again, right? And then you all you also have in here as little tuck spots, which I like. See what I have here. Uh, yep, I have this little clock. I have a Tim Holtz egg. These little guys are too big, but they're they're sitting there waiting. <laughs> roses make a little envelope I 
You can use decorative scissors on your edges. Let's, uh, I'm just going to fold this down. But having one sided um, paper, you know, it gives you opportunity to uh, dress it up. You can keep it this long, you can cut it down, you can fold in the sides. I'm going to fold in the sides. Make it a true looking envelope. But lots of ideas for your six by six paper. And if you have ideas, please put them in the comments and uh, so that we can all you know, benefit from your ideas as well and get inspiration. So I'm just cutting the top for the flaps like normal. And then I'm gonna also do the bottom. Uh, wait now, nope, nope, nope. Almost forgot what the top and the bottom is. <laughs> oh goodness, that wouldn't be good. So it goes like this. So these are the ends that will get cut off. Oh boy. And I usually cut it just above the score line just so that there's no interference with uh, the folding. So. Almost forgot what I was doing there for goodness sake. So then these will get folded in and that's where you add the, you add your glue to these because guaranteed this is gonna be a little taller than the flap, than the pocket. And then you can add lace, you can add all of your goodies. See, just like that. Well, that's a cute envelope, I like it. But the paper is cute. I don't know if you have any at your dollar store. I actually went looking for more and they were out. So it sure didn't last very long. Um, I'm just checking for my little bits here. I have my little trolley beside me. But I mean, that's a beautiful part for like an, a beautiful addition to a journal, right? Nice big envelope, you can dress it however way you want. Let's do this. Might as well dress one, right? Let's see what we can do here. I just grabbed up one of my, one of my bits here, but I'm not sure that I, like it let's see just add that they're sitting so I don't know if they might need something to sit on I don't want them looking like they're floating in the air so let's quickly do this okay So do it at the, just don't glue there. You can cut it off. You can leave it on there if you like to see things hanging over. I do most times, but there are times when I do um, cut it off. I'm just gonna add it. There we go. I think this should be okay for them to sit on. And they're kind of on a slant, these boys. So that's how I'm going to sit them. It's like they're sitting on a crooked fence or something. So I will add that right there.
move it up actually. And then they're going to sit right there. There, they're cute. But something simple, flat, can be sat in a pocket. You can send it in happy mail. I mean, that'd be so fun for somebody to receive in the mail. I'm actually going to put just, sorry if my head was there, but there's glue there. So I'm going to just add that in. And that can be used for something else. And the same with this piece of clock, provided I don't cut my envelope. Good, I don't think I did. But that can be used on the side of uh, a tag or something. Just add a little bit of color. And there. And that's ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna try and decorate one of these as well. So this bit here, this is going to go just on the on the side. Might as well. I don't want to get it. I want to have it lost in the shuffle here when I clean my desk or something. Use it up. And that's one less scrap on my desk and it it looks good okay what else do we have <laughs> i have a feather i can just tuck it i'll do that And I'll post all of the, all of these creations to uh, my group, Crafting with Eyes Wide Open. So if you'd like to go and check out that group on Facebook, that would be great. And if you join, it's a public group where we all try to, you know, share what we make, encourage each other, support each other in our, in our crafting. It's just a lovely group. And every week I post an artist of the week onto the main uh, the main group page. It will be a picture of whatever you create or something that you've created and posted so that uh, everybody can see it and be inspired. And so there's that. I didn't do the opposite side, but that's okay. This one we put stuff in the pocket. And then you can add stickers to these stamps. I have some, I have these stickers from, uh, they were from Amazon, a big, huge kit. Uh, two packs, I've shown them to you before. But I enjoy using them and I use them a lot. So of course I go through them a lot. And uh, so I'm always having to pick them up. Oh my goodness, she's sweet. I'm just going to pop it right in the pocket. Oh, butterfly. We already have one. Put this one right there. Gives it a nice vintage look. Oops. There's that. Just try to find a little sticker for there. Or you can stamp on them. Stamping would be fabulous as well. Let's just move that for a minute. Crooked. 
sometimes it's hard to see if it's going to be crooked or not. But so there's that. And let's put something else in the pocket. Oh, what's this? One of the little uh, books, book covers from uh, Tim. So there's that one. Okay, so we did decorate some. Uh, yeah, so okay, I'm going to leave it there for today. If you want to see more, let me know. If you have ideas, let me know. I mean, maybe you've uh, gone through 6x6 six six paper pads as well. And um, you have some different ways of doing it. You can let You can let us all know. Right? So, all right. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Questions, comments, please leave them below. And I'm, I'm so happy that you came to uh, visit with me today and to craft along. All right. God bless. Take care. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.